watching today's The Lot, one of the biggest movies of all time, sails back into theaters this morning. We've been talking about this one. Yeah, Suzanne Marquez joins us now with more. So what's new with Titanic? Well, it, they're celebrating their anniversary, and it's a good year for James Cameron. He's up for Oscars oh, with yeah. Avatar. True. And also celebrating one of his biggest movies of all time. And yes, after 25 years, the film has been remastered in 4K resolution for this special event. Listen to me. I've got you. I won't let go. Titanic is celebrating its 25th anniversary with a theatrical re-release. The film debuted in North American theaters on December 19, 1997. The slight delay to the anniversary release is likely and rightly due to James Cameron's latest blockbuster, Avatar The Way of Water, which arrived in theaters just three days before Titanic's anniversary. It's interesting to have a film that's 25 years old that people still want to see and still want to go to theaters to see. That's very gratifying that the film has been embraced by the zeitgeist, not just in its moment, but generationally. Um, and I think people know instinctively that the theatrical experience of the film will be more profound, more powerful. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> what do we want to do these days? If we're going to go to a theater, we want it to be kind of a sure thing. We want it to be something that we know is going to be extraordinary. You know, so Top Gun, right? Spider Man, um, Way of Water, you know. We know these are going to be extraordinary experiences to get us up on our hind legs and into our car and go through all the hassle and the parking and the popcorn and all that sort of thing. You jump high, jump right. And I think Titanic is a kind of an evergreen that makes that promise. You're going to have an experience. And can you believe 25 years ago, Titanic received 14 Oscar nominations and 11 wins, including Best Picture. So one of the winnis, winningest movies. And I also am so excited to tell you guys, I'm talking to Kate Winslet. <gasps> I'm dying to. Love Remember it. that interview she did? Yes, with girl. little girl. Yeah, it's so cute. Um, it just struck me that there's rumors that Leonardo DiCaprio is dating a 19-year-old supermodel. So this movie came out before she was even alive. Yeah, people were saying she was on Zoom in high school like two years ago. And I can't, I just cannot. I can't. So anyway, I can't with just this. food for thought. Okay, now so I can't watch Titanic. <laughs> Suzanne, thank you. Yeah, he, he needs to chill, okay? He thinks he's a teenager still, and he is not. He he's is a not. grown He's 48 man. years old. I know. Come but on. he was very on, cute Leo. when he was a teenager, and I, we all remember where we were when we saw that movie. You're right. right. Look, about that. Thank you for looking at the bright side. Let's just remember him. Let's remember then. his teen years. Yeah. Paul? <laughs>